Now I'd like to show you how you can make multiple measurements in a single caliper step. Just to a very quick recap of the script that I've put together so far, I found the right side of the object, found the bottom side of the object. Here I have used a caliper to find the intersection of those two lines, and then I have set my coordinate system with its origin at that corner, and then aligned with that edge of the object. I've also measured the base width, and then found two circle centers, and I've also found this edge associated with the bevel, and then my last step at the moment then is to measure that bevel angle, and that's a four-point measurement. Now, the point of this little tutorial then is to, to show that instead of creating additional caliper steps, you can simply have multiple measurements in the same caliper step. So what I'm going to do is establish a measurement for the distance, and that is based on circle A center and circle B center. Click Measurement. And now I've defined those two points as the basis for this distance measurement coming out to 2.70 centimeters. Now you'll notice that's given the same name as the overall step. It's called measure bevel angle. I can make this a little bit more generic and say take measurements. That's what's happening in this particular step. I'll close that step and then reopen the step and now we see that the updated name is appearing here. All right, I want to add a third measurement. I would like to find the perpendicular distance defined by points 10, 11, that's this bevel edge, and then the first circle center, that would be point number eight. I'll select the perpendicular projection and it says we need to, to choose three points. You start with the two baseline points and then you add the third point to that. So again, I you have to click these in order. So I do 10 and 11 for the baseline and then eight for the distance out from that baseline. Now, before I close out, let me show you some of the editing techniques that you can use. You could de delete a measurement. You could delete all the results. You can save the measurements to Excel and you can also save the results to a file. Deleting a selection means you have to first select it, so highlight it in blue, and then you could go ahead and click that button. Also, I'll mention that if you change your mind about which points you, you are using for a specific measurement, simply hit reset to clear the checked boxes, and you're all set.